This video is brought to you by the Local Projects print publication. Head to the description of this video to subscribe now and receive three copies each year. When we conceived of the house, we actually thought about it as a collection of buildings that are connected together, that lead you from the street through to the garden. The passage through the house becomes like a street in itself. The level changes mirror the topography change as you step down into the site. There's a sequence and a pausing and a progression through until you release into the garden. My name's Anthony Martin from MRTN Architects, and we were the architects for the West Bend House located in West Garth, Melbourne. And the really special thing about this site is actually it's located on the banks of the Merrick Creek. So a long winding creek that um, comes through Northcote and North Fitzroy. For this house, we had designed for a family of five. So a lot of our conversations and the needs for our clients was addressed around what this kind of evolving older family would look like and how they would use the site. So conceptually, we had this idea that it was almost like a village, the home. So the house is conceived as like a street with buildings where each of the individuals of the family can get away to. The space I'm sitting in at the moment was particularly key for the brief. So there was the regular kitchen, living, dining spaces, but the family also wanted a space that they could come together and work in. So we extended the narrative of the village as a home and then created a city square, which is that coming together area. And this is the one living space that actually faces north and gets some warmth. The brick flooring replicates that city square or exterior type of space, but also creates thermal mass so the sun heats it up doors can open up, sun can come in, and it provides a landing place for the house. The key criteria for our materials was that they didn't have an indoor to outdoor distinction, that one material can be used in both locations, breaking down these boundaries between inside and outside throughout the house. There's a number of different living spaces that are connected through the circulation from the front to the rear. We were very conscious about creating a specific atmosphere and material palette for each of those spaces so they feel quite different. We also varied the ceiling condition in each of these spaces, which helps create specific character. We were conscious of the heritage connection to the site and we were focused on creating forms that were in harmony with the original dwellings that are found in the area. So we're very conscious about not creating a box house to the street. This was the location of the original Westgarth or Northgate house. Built in around 1850, it actually preceded the streets and roads in the area. Outdoor space and gardens was obviously so key with this home. And there's probably three distinct areas of the garden, which is the front garden, which we really worked on blurring the distinction from the street to the house to sort of give back to the neighborhood and then this harder paved area through the middle of the house. So all the living areas are kind of gathered around here and feed into the various areas. But what was sacrosanct was that back garden. So we very consciously designed the house to reduce in scale as it fed into the garden. Our clients and also us were very concerned about passive design principles and sustainable criteria in the design of the home and they've been incorporated through all elements of the house. One of the key aspects was that there's really high performance windows throughout the house, which help keep it uh, cool in summer and warm in winter. All our floor surfaces are then either concrete or brick, which provide thermal mass. There's also a really big solar array on the roof. So the house is in fact powering the car as well. It's really interesting about how we appreciate spaces when we enter into them. So the mind doesn't take into account the size or volume of a space. It actually goes to the surfaces and the materials that are in there. And that's how we piece together a space or a room. So by varying the materials, but keeping commonality and links through them, we create a gentle narrative through the house 
defined by space, level change and material. What I'm most proud of is the success that you really hope for with architecture is that it's a highly specific response. You've got a family and you have a site. How do you match those two things together in this location? And how do you do it so that it's fit for them and suited to their lives? And it's really wonderful sense of space and connection from the street through to the garden and accommodates them in their day-to-day -day lives. Published three times a year, the local project hard copy publication contains over 350 pages of curated insight into the latest architecture and design across Australia and New Zealand. Printed on exceptionally high quality paper stock, the publication is designed to be read and enjoyed over time. A beautiful and valuable addition to any personal library or coffee table. With worldwide delivery available, have the hard copy print publication delivered straight to your door three times a year with an annual subscription. Head to the description of this video to subscribe to the triannual print publication.